I'm Karthik Rao, co-founder and CEO of SignalFX. Uh, we are at our headquarters in beautiful San Mateo, California. SignalFX is a cloud monitoring service for operators of uh, cloud native applications. Uh, what's different about SignalFX is we employ a streaming analytics approach uh, that allows us to be much more proactive, much more real time in monitoring today's applications. Uh, we're also purpose built for today's infrastructure. So if you're leveraging highly elastic uh, container style architectures, we are uniquely uh, well suited to help you monitor those environments. When we started SignalFX, the initial focus was on building a best-in-class metrics analytics system, and that is very helpful for understanding what's going on at each individual component. And what that helped you do is really understand when you had a problem to be a lot more proactive in identifying problems, particularly if there were dependencies across different teams. What the microservices APM product really has enabled our customers to do is to understand not just what's happening at an individual component level, but to understand the flow of transactions as they go through different microservices. And that is a much more complicated problem to solve in the APM world for microservices uh, than, it, than it had been in the more traditional world. And so we really focused on solving the problem for today's environments, and uh, that's what we did with microservices APM. The market has come a long, long, long ways in the last six years, and what we've seen is you know, the first phase is, you know, your typical lift and shift and, uh, you know, people moving workloads. Um, and that's what a lot of the enterprises have been focused on the last several years. But what's exciting now is we're, we're finding all, there's, there's so much new application development in this move fast and break things model, right? Uh, hopefully without breaking things. But the idea is it's uh, lots of small teams developing microservices, releasing software on a daily basis or weekly basis, leveraging these highly elastic uh, environments. And so we have always focused on where the puck was going in these cloud native organizations. And it's um, really great to see the market embracing that in a meaningful way. And uh, we, we feel it's really hit an inflection point in the past couple of years. I'd say observability as a term has really gained a lot more prominence as organizations have moved to more DevOps style cultures where uh, as a development team, you build it, you own it, and you run it. Uh, and in that kind of a world, People care about a lot more than just is my system up or down because they actually have the power to make the software better. And so you move beyond just wanting to know when there's a problem to how can I develop my code in a more effective way to avoid these problems. And to do that really requires a data-driven approach. And so observability is more about collecting and proactively instrumenting data across your entire application environment so that you can really use a data-driven approach to figure out how to make your software better. Uh, and when issues come up, to have all of the instrumentation so you can understand exactly what caused that in a more effective way. At a high level, we're really excited about uh, the move to more automated systems, right? Everyone's moving to infrastructure as code. Uh, the entire infrastructure stack and even the application stack is now the, the newer technologies and frameworks, whether it's Service Mesh or uh, frameworks like Kubernetes are enabling much more robust capabilities around automating uh, actions. and so. Um, that fits very well with our vision of the future, right, where uh, we are collecting data across the entire environment. And, you know, we started with the infrastructure world. We've been adding more and more application data, and we'll continue to extend the domains in which we're collecting data um, and really providing a best-in-class set of analytics around it to, as people move towards automating more and more actions, having great signals in is critical to creating great automation and actions on the output side. We're really excited about the direction of the industry and uh, very, very excited about the contributions that we're going to be making.